A healthy small group is intentional about inviting other people to join. You know, most groups start by being invitational, but they stop inviting once they have enough members to be viable. But being invitational is not just about getting enough people for your small group to survive. It's really a way of living out the priority of making disciples who make disciples. The problem is most groups are content with the members who are already there. Let's talk about how to change that and how to develop an invitational culture in your small group. Number one, it starts with the leaders. An invitational group doesn't just happen by accident. It starts with leaders who care about it and people will catch your attitude and your motivation. And so if your team, your co-leaders, uh, cares about inviting other people, that's going to set a tone for the entire group. So spend some time in your team meetings talking about this. Talk together about whether you really want to see people added to your group. Examine your hearts. If you want to see people added, why? If you don't, then why not? Because it starts with the leaders. Now, the second thing about creating an invitational culture in your group is to remind people why the group exists. Your group exists to help people pursue God. But that doesn't just mean the leaders helping the members of the group pursue God or even the members of the group helping each other, although all those things are important. But Jesus reached out to outsiders and he sent us, he commissioned us to go out to the world as well. And so if your group's really going to learn how to make disciples who make disciples, that means you're going to have to engage and incorporate people who aren't there yet. That's the reason your group exists. Now, third, to create an invitational culture in your group, a brainstorm people to invite. I encourage you to set aside some regular time in your group's meeting schedule to talk about people who might be open to an invitation. It doesn't have to be every week, but on a regular basis, set aside a little bit of time to, to brainstorm together. Are there people in our lives and people in our circles of influence that would be open to an invitation? And by doing it on a regular basis and setting aside time for it, you establish that it's a priority in the life of the group. And then related to that, make sure you pray for people who aren't there yet. If you're like most small groups, you're going to be praying every week anyway for people's prayer requests and needs. And so I encourage you to incorporate every week into your prayer some time praying by name for the people that you'd like to see start coming to your group. To see what God will do if you start praying for those people. But also pray for the unnamed people, people you don't even know yet, but in whom the Holy Spirit might already be working to, or to draw them toward Jesus. People who are going to cross your path in the future. Start praying for them as well and see what God will do. Now, another practical thing that you can do to help create an invitational culture in your group is to plan invitational events. I recommend that every so often you hold a simple event that opens the doors of your group uh, to outsiders, that makes it easy for people to connect with your group. And there's certain times of the year that are really good at this, and we've got a related topic that thinks through the calendar and how to use the calendar for invitational events. But uh, plan something that's easy to organize, doesn't have to be too complicated, that's easy for your group members to invite others to, and that's easy for newcomers to want to say yes to. Now, when you're thinking about the people that you want to invite, then you want to plan an event that would be appealing to them and not just to you. You know, your group might find a Christian movie night to be a lot of fun, but the people that you're inviting might find a cookout or a sports event to be more appealing to them. But the point is, think it through. Think through how to use invitational events in the life of your group. Now, if you want to create an invitational culture, then one thing that's really going to help you is to train people what to say. As you train people to be invitational, they need to know what to say to actually make that invitation because you're not inviting people to make a long-term commitment to your group. You're just inviting them to come to a cookout to meet some of your friends. And then if they have a good time, you can invite them to come to your regular group meeting the next time you meet. Or you're inviting people just to come to the next series that you're starting to study together. Maybe that's just a three-week invitation. Say, hey, come to our group. We're studying this series on doubt or whatever it might be. 
Now remember that how you express that invitation is going to be different for someone who goes to church versus someone who's not really involved in church because the churchgoer might know something about small groups and have some sense of what they involve and what they're like. But the point is, is that as you prepare to make specific invitations to your group or to your invitational events, then you need to talk through with people and train them what to actually say. Now, your group is becoming invitational. You're moving forward. People are starting to respond. Then what you need to understand next is you always need to be ready for guests to show up. If you're being invitational, then you should expect people to come. And if you expect people to come, then you need to take care of practical matters like making sure you have extra seating as needed, you have plenty of food, and also talk through with your group to remind them how to be welcoming and how to be engaging for newcomers. Sometimes after a while we forget what it's like to be a newcomer, a guest in a group. So help coach your group up to be sensitive to the newcomer and their perspective and their needs. But you're going to expect people to show up. And then finally, as you develop an invitational culture, I really want to encourage you to be patient. It takes time to develop an invitational group. It takes time for a group of people to learn how to do that and to think that way. And then not everybody that you invite is going to respond right away. Sometimes it takes a lot of invitations to find the people that fit in your group, that God is leading to be part of your group. But if you stick with it, you're faithful, then over time your group will grow. And you know, there's something exciting about being part of an invitational group. There's an anticipation of what God is going to do in the lives of the people that you've been reaching out to. There's really nothing like it. But it won't happen unless the leadership team owns the vision for this and is intentional about putting it into practice. <laughs>